Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I have done something quite incredible. I have remembered that we made some changes here and uh, some fixes here <laughs> in uh, a couple episodes back. And uh, that was actually several days ago for me. But um, I remembered. I remembered. I remembered that, that we needed to do this. And can we change these poles where that works just a little bit better? Yeah, we're going to conserve some things. All right, so yeah, we needed two additional um, there. And I had also done something here where we, um, let's see, I think it was it was 13, right? Which you, you right there. Uh, where am I? I can't see myself. Um, I gotta be close. Oh, there I am. Okay, okay, that was a machine right there, right? 13. Yes, that was that was it. All right, so we want to take you out like that. And let's see. We got Oh, I, I put those on my bar like a million years ago. All right, we want output priority right on that. And um that means we can get rid of that. All right, those two tweaks, um, we can check those off the list. Um, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? There we go. All right, and there was also another issue that I found by myself as I was reviewing. Uh, let's see, where was it? It was right here. I made four battery machines. Um, the actual number we need there is five, and I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any chemical plants. Let's see. We should have the building train right here. Uh, building train, do you have... Let me grab some beacons while we're at it. Ah, uh, yes, chemical plants. Need one of those. And let's see. All this other stuff. Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and stock up while we're here. Uh, yeah, we need an additional battery machine right here. And I think we'll just be able to do that, move the underground there. Uh, we're going to have to move this to, like, right here. Um, inserter. Inserter. Uh, can we move this power pole over there? Yeah. There we go. And uh, this should actually be supplied plenty from the the line coming in that shouldn't change anything because we we originally did the calculations for five machines um and i don't know that th this was like 4.04 .04, so i don't know it's it's better to have the excess there all right so i think that is looking better uh there was one more thing yeah and it's little and it's small but uh we're gonna go ahead and address it anyway we're gonna take that off uh, because all of these are going to be on that side of the belt anyway. Because uh, we are curving it around. So they're going to be on the outside of this belt. And as they curve around, just that little piece was unnecessary. Uh, probably even kind of unnecessary to fix. But, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, all right. I think this is all set up and ready to go. I think I'm going to hold off on bus stuff and uh, go back into the creative world. And uh, we'll start working on rocket parts. All right, you can see what I'm talking about with the yellow science here. Um, they're placed on the outside of the belt there, and as they come around, um, <laughs> they just automatically get on the inside of the belt. There's no reason to force them into there. Uh, we're kind of overproducing things a little bit. They're backing up. I'm thinking, I mean, I just got all this stuff set back up with the, the sulfuric acid and things. Um, yeah, we're just going to let that run for a little bit. I'm seeing some red lights here and there, and uh, I'm not overly excited about that. But, uh... Yeah, it kind of is what it is. And I'm just noticing uh, we've got some cliffs down here. Which, uh, that's not something I'm kind of used to running into. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a couple of stacks of cliff explosives. Uh, something I have not used much of. I don't know, cliffs just... Uh, I get what they're for. And I think I, think I probably just need to 
explore them further. I was, uh, uh, one of the Factorio series that I would like to do is one that is, um, not optimal. <laughs> um, I'm always looking for very flat lands that have uh, good mineral deposits and, and things like that. But I was, I was wanting to do a playthrough where we just throw in a lot of cliffs and water and uh, just, just kind of play it as it lies uh, and, and see. I don't know. I think that may be fun. All right. Well, all those cliffs are out of the way. Uh, let's see. Let's clear it all out of the way. Fantastic. And uh, we can start working on rocket stuff. Okay. So rocket stuff. Rocket stuff, rocket stuff. Let's uh, let's pull up the old browser window and have a look. See, shall we? Um, this is the big giant recipe thing for the white science or rocket science, rocket science, space science, space science. Yes. Um. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need two rocket silos in order to get a thousand uh, per minute. Um, it says one point five. I, I thought I did the calculations on that, and it was a lot closer than that. Uh, you do have productivity modules? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, looking through, I mean, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite it's gonna be quite the thing. Uh, now we already have the rocket fuel covered, I believe. I think we've already got that coming down on the bus, uh, so that should be fine. Um, we just need. Uh, load and city structures, uh, the rocket control units, and the satellites. And uh, if I recall from the last series, uh, these guys are going to be the fun ones. Um, the load and city structures should be fairly straightforward. We need uh, 52.88 factories of those. Uh, they do use productivity modules. Um, so we're looking at something like that. And I did another calculation where I just dropped the number of factories until it gave me a magical number here of fairly close to one belt of steel, uh, fairly close to a half a belt of copper, and fairly close to a half a belt of plastic. Um, so we can do these in groups of 21. Uh, we would need two of those, and then we just have a little straggler to make up the remaining uh, 11. Yeah, the, the remaining 11 factories that we need for that. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll start with the low hanging fruit here. Um, this is going to be fairly low hanging fruit. Uh, let's not start with that though. Let's start with, uh, you right here. Uh, so we needed, uh, what was it? 21. I don't remember. I've forgotten already. Um, 21. Yes. Is what we need. Uh, how many is this? That is 19. That's pretty close. 19. 20, 21. All right, and uh, let's do that. And let's do, let's see, that's gonna be a, one of these products. All right, there we go. Let's go and take the beacons out. Um, that went too far. Yeah, that's as far as that goes. Uh, duplicate this row of beacons. That. All right, and uh, let's see. We're going to need a line of steel coming in. And we're also going to need a line of copper and plastic. And uh, it seems like last time what I did was something like this. Um, oh, are you going the wrong way? Yes. And I'll uh, bring that in like that. Um, and then we'll have a belt going out as well. That will be... Uh, uh, basically the output. Because I think we should be able to be fine with... Uh, yeah, it's 0.14. A red belt will work for that. Uh, what is it all day? 0.34. All right. I think a red belt will work for that as well. Um, okay, so that will be our red pattern-ish. Uh, we'll take blue down like that. And I guess just take it 
all the way across, right? That. Okay, I think that's good. And uh, you guys take forever in a day? Yes, you do. All right, so I think uh, fast inserters will be good. Uh, you're going to spit out there. Uh, you are going to input there. You're going to input there. Just like that. All right, and uh, power poles. Is going to work? I think that'll work. Okay, so we should be able to copy uh, the setup right here. Just take this all the way down. Okay, and there's one extra. We just can take that off. All right, and that'll spit out there. Uh, we need to expand these poles out just a hair. All right, and that is that. Is that. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and copy this. That is going to be that, and that is going to be that. Um, so that's 21. Uh, that is 42, and then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is 52, and that one right there would be 53, which is what we need at the end of the day, right? 52.88, that is 3 in my book. All right, so we don't need any of that, and uh, let's see, is it? That one right there, yes. Oh, that right there. Um, the you are going to be on the outside of the belt. Why don't we take you down? That will combine you two into one belt. that uh you can come on down and i think we'll kind of keep it to the outside i think that would be all right and we'll just combine you two with a splitter you know what i'm thinking about i'm thinking about something um we need uh we need 52.88 that is like all day right 52.88 and some of those uh let's see do i have i have the satellite calculation here somewhere i thought um, maybe I don't. Maybe I got rid of that. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's duplicate that tab. We need, uh, 0 .0, oh, 0 .0, 0 0.02 satellite makers. Satellite. 0 0.02. Um, okay. So, 10 of those are basically needed to make the satellite. Um, this is this is going to be feed. This is going to be feeding down. It's going to be going down. We can pull off. Um, th this is fine. This is fine. Okay. I had a little bit of a, a little mental break there. All right. That's good. And that might actually have to go out further, uh, depending on uh, what else we have to build here. And I think we've got. Uh, this is the easy part. <laughs> the uh, the fuel as well as the loaded sea structures. These are all the easy parts. Um, let's just uh, take this to a void for now, and we'll get that hooked up just to see how things work here. Um, that is going to be steel. That is going to be copper, and that is going to be plastic. Uh, does it matter which one is on top? 
copper we'll want to do on top, I believe. And um, technically, I've been... I think we have a precedent here. Why aren't you producing stuff? The question that I have. Um, steel? Steel. Okay, there it goes. Um, uh, yeah, I think we have a precedent for um, doing this like that. So we'll just do a full line and combine them right here. I think it'll be just fine. And plastic and plastic. Um, same thing right there. Same thing right there. It's looking good. Oh, it's kind of not. Okay, so are all these messed up? I guess the answer to that is yes, they are. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Just just give me my copy. There go. There. There. Okay, but that top row is actually working just fine. Um, this row down here. We'll catch up, and this bottom one will be will be good too. And boy, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> it's really hard to see these low density structures on here, but they're definitely there. And yeah, I think these machines just kind of need to stock up their steel buffers, and then that'll allow these last ones to move. And uh, we are making us uh, some low density structures. Okay, so we want to make it where. Uh, this belt is actually going to both sides uh, when it merges into there. Not that it really matters, but it totally does. All right, so that's simple enough. Um, let's take a look at the next thing we need. Um, I think we're done with you. I'm going to kill you guys off, and that is the control units. We need, um, let's see, is that right? Just double check that. 46.39, uh, 46.39, that is correct. Uh, 11, 12-ish uh, blue circuit machines. Uh, 42 red circuit machines, but those are distributed between the speed modules as well as the processing units because that's what you need for a rocket control unit is a blue circuit and a... Um, speed module and the electric circuits we need 16 of those but again those are split between those two as well I think I broke these up a little bit further um, yeah I took this number right here and I divided it by 2 that gave us 5.53 uh, of these uh, so if we set up two of these um, this should be just fine and I think I think this is actually going to work out. I think it's I think it's going to work out fairly well. Um yeah, and you are the speed module factory. 14.58 14.58. We'll cross that bridge at another time. Um, so yeah, so this gives us six, uh, six of these at the end of the day. And what this turns into is we've already got that down there. Uh, we've already got an area up here where we are creating um, blue circuits. We've got a group of eight. And uh, that group of eight we are supplying with, with basically this whole, this whole unit here. All of this is enough to support eight machines. Well, by grouping them into six, um, we're actually going to need less. Um, we're going to need less green machines. We're going to need less red machines. 
Uh, so this input, this scenario will work with this. Uh, just it needs to be. Why are you red? Uh, why are you red? Okay, we expected those to be red. Yeah, and I guess some of these are gonna be red too. I just, I just don't like seeing that. It makes me sad. Um, but yeah, so, so basically, this design uh, simplified down is is going to work out fine. Um, so I think we need to do that. Um, let's see. We need less. We need less reds. Uh, let's let's just look at the red setup here. Uh, we need five machines. Uh, we need two um, of these and one green circuit machine. All right, so that is like this, like almost exactly. Um, so let's go ahead and copy that. And uh, we'll pull it down here, and then we'll make our modifications to it. Um, all right, so this is this is exactly what we need here. Uh, the only difference is we don't need that many. We need 4.74. We need five. One, two, three, four, five. So we need two less machines. I like less. Less makes things easier. All right. Goes like that. We don't need any of you. Uh, the red is the output. Yes, it is. Um, so that, that gives that right there. All right. Let's go up and grab you guys now. And we only need six of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need this many. I think we need to put in the space just for the extra. Um, ju -ju 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 -ju. okay, you guys were outputting on the top. And, um, was that just pure red at the top? Yeah, pure red at the top, and the green came in along the bottom. Um, green circuits are coming in here. And how many lines of green circuits do we need? It's not it's not that many, is it? Uh, it's going to be right here. Uh, take off the red. Hi. Uh, duplicate tab. That. Okay, 1.53. We only need two. Um, so that simplifies things a bit. We no longer need this top belt. We just need those two belts right there coming out. All right, and this gives us our circuits coming out right here. And uh, how many lines of circuits are we ending up with? Uh, we're ending up with 0.11. All right, so red will be fine for that as well. All right, all we need here are the green circuit machines in order to make that work. And uh, how many greens do we need? We need four. 3.95. Um, that is actually, I think, a very unfortunate number because it's going to need more than one belt of copper and more than one belt of... Well, that's 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 fine. That's that's okay. Um We 
we might be able to do this a tad bit smarter. Let's just start this out as a base. And uh, we'll throw this in here. That is stuff that we need. Uh, 1.5... All right, um, yeah, let's get into demolition here. Demolition mode. All right, take out that. All right, I want to take... I'm going to take a blueprint of that. And I'm going to keep that in my pocket. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of destruction here. That. Uh, we'll pull out our blueprint that I just made. It was this one. And let's see, that's the next one in line. That one's not, that one's not. That is. All right. And, uh... Continuing that on like that, both of those should be good. All right? All right. All right, what I'm wanting to see if I can do here, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll continue you on. Take these out. And uh, let's see, you are going to be iron sending that back down uh the top one up here is going to be copper um this one is going to be which one is that i don't remember um copper iron copper iron so this one is going to be copper which is the top line bottom one is iron. So if we got that down, that could go to there. And that could merge into that line there and basically refill that halfway through. And you, if we took you up, come in like that... Go across just like that, and we turn that into a splitter, and you would refeed the copper line right there. Does that work? Kind of feels like it. I don't remember. I don't remember what that was. What was that? There's a button you could do to, 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 to stop that request. Um, so that's four of those. Um, that is... Oh, it's kind of saying we're going to be a little bit short on our copper machine. Our copper wire machines, that is. Is there anything we could do about that? Because uh, the magic of these is that they're not going to quite do a full, full line. Um, let's see. I'm going a little bit further. Uh, I think what I'm wanting to do... is maybe just throw an extra machine down. Um, instead of uh, four of these, just make five. Do a group of three, and then we'll put this nonsense toward the end. Yeah, I think, I think that's the way to do that. So let's take... 
Let's take this and keep that in our pocket. Uh, we'll delete all of that. Uh, we'll place this guy down one more time. Um, that is correct, right? Yeah. Okay, and then right here, we're going to want to do our other one. And then try to figure out where things went wrong. Go down there. You go like that. Come up there. That is all correct, right? All right, so that goes through three, and then we have our two additional lines coming in here to feed those guys, and I believe that should work. Uh, you can stop there, and uh, this is going to be... Is that going to be... Is that going to be too much coming out? Um, well, 3.95 is going to be 1.54, so, yeah, I think three of you guys make a belt. So, yeah, I guess, actually, we should probably take you up. Little bit of power pull gore there but but that that should be fine all right so belt one uh belt two we'll do a nice little uh little balancer there um and you go up right there go up right there. Um, are we missing are we missing some beacons here? We are. All right. We'll have to expand that out a little bit. All right. Well, um, boy, I went way over this episode. Um, I apologize for that. Um, eh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And uh, just some finishing touches here. There we go. All right. Um, is that going to work? I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out, though. It works out in my head. It works out in my head. All right. And we'll actually need uh, one more of those. Probably should have tested it out first. Um, hindsight is always twenty twenty, though. All right, very nice. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where I think the order of the day is going to be um, what? Speed modules. Speed modules is all we need and uh, we'll be ready to make our rocket control units. Fantastic. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>